Siddhartha Mukherjee, The Gene, An Intimate History Embark on a captivating journey through the world of genetics in I, The Gene, An Intimate History by Siddhartha Mukherjee. This fascinating read explores the birth of genetics with Gregor Mendel's pea plant experiments, delves into the groundbreaking discoveries of DNA and RNA, and highlights the significant impact of the Human Genome Project on our understanding of humanity's origins. Along the way, the book touches upon the ethical dilemmas of eugenics and dives into the complexities of gender identity from a genetic standpoint. Prepare to gain insights into the power and potential of genetic research, its role in diagnosing diseases, and the future prospects of gene therapy and stem cell research. Unraveling the Mystery of Genetics The gene, the smallest unit of heredity, was discovered by botanist Gregor Mendel while studying pea plants in 1864. His experiments showed that specific traits are passed down from generation to generation in indivisible units. Dutch botanist Hugo de Vries later merged Mendel's ideas with Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, explaining why genetic variants occur as accidental mutations. Together, their work established the basics of genetics, revealing that traits are transferred through genes, which contain genetic information. These genes produce random variations in traits that are passed down to offspring and naturally selected through time, shaping the evolution of species. Unlocking the Mystery of Genes The discovery of DNA in the 1940s unveiled the building blocks of genes containing four bases. Genes don't function alone and work together to express a trait, like height, not a single gene. There isn't a direct connection between gene expression and visible traits as external factors can influence them too. The Power of DNA in Cell Specialization DNA plays a crucial role in ensuring that cells can function specific roles in building an organism. At every stage of development, DNA directs each new cell's job, constructing organs or individual elements unique to particular species. Researchers can even predict when a cell will divide or disappear based on its genetic code. DNA offers an extraordinary power to specify a cell's job and ensure a developing organism's successful growth. The Twisted Reality of Eugenics Advances in genetic research led to the development of eugenics, a movement that aimed to improve humanity by promoting desirable traits and suppressing undesirable ones through selective breeding and forced sterilization. The Nazis took this concept to horrifying extremes, using genetics as a justification for eliminating groups deemed undesirable, including Jews, gypsies, and disabled individuals. By the end of World War II, 11 million people had been exterminated. The field of eugenics became taboo after this revelation, and the disturbing consequences of this movement continue to influence scientific research and medicine today. Revolutionizing Genetics in the 1970s, geneticists aimed to manipulate DNA more effectively and found that science could create and clone new organisms. Stanford University's biochemists discovered recombinant DNA and gene cloning. They proved that scientists can write new DNA and started looking for ways to read DNA instructions through gene sequencing. In 1977, Frederick Sanger successfully mapped virus Phi X174's entire set of genes, leading to the discovery of stuffer bases in animal DNA that act as pauses between sentences of useful base pairs. These findings revolutionized the study of genetics and opened up new aspects of the DNA language. Decoding the Genetic Mystery DNA sequencing helps to identify diseases by locating problem genes that cause a potential threat to one's health. Genetic information is significant in diagnosing diseases such as Down syndrome. However, several diseases like cancer are difficult to pinpoint through genetic analysis since it results from the malfunction of several genes in a cell. Therefore, a genetic diagnosis is only possible by reviewing a patient's entire genome. The Human Genome Project, initiated in 1990, aimed to sequence the human genome. By 2003, the project had published a complete map of over 20,000 genes that make up human DNA. Scientific advances in gene sequencing made it possible. 
Mapping the Human Genome and Debunking Racist Genetic Claims The completion of the Human Genome Project gave scientists access to the complete map of the human genome, allowing them to trace the origins of the species and debunk racist genetic claims. By comparing the genomes of people worldwide, researchers have found that the oldest human populations are the sand tribes of South Africa, Namibia and Botswana and the beauty pygmies of the Congolese Ituri Forest. The history of mankind indicates that all humans lived on the African continent less than 100,000 years ago, and certain groups eventually migrated, with some tribes becoming white Europeans. Research has shown that genetic diversity in the human species is contained within racial groups, making it inaccurate to put two individuals from different racial categories in the same group. The information provided by mapping the human genome has helped researchers trace humanity's roots and debunk racist genetic claims. The Genetics of Gender Identity The 23rd chromosome pair controls an individual's biological sex. Females have XX chromosomes while males have XY, with the SRY gene playing a crucial role in determining anatomical sex. However, gender identity is a different issue, with many individuals identifying as somewhere between the two normative genders or neither. This is due to genes responding to environmental inputs, ultimately deciding one's gender identity. The vast variation in these factors is why people identify with such a diverse range of gender identities. Nature versus Nurture The interplay between genetics and environment in shaping human behavior is a nuanced topic. People are born with tendencies that become visible traits only when they interact with the environment. A 1979 study on identical twins separated at birth and raised in different environments found that they exhibited similar behavioral tendencies. However, their behavior differed due to the influence of their environments. Moreover, the environment physically etches itself into our genome through a process called epigenetics. Environmental cues can activate or deactivate genes, with small molecules called methyl tags acting like annotations to a cell's DNA. Over time, these tags accumulate and influence the functions of the cell. Therefore, it is not a question of genetics versus environment, but rather the complex interplay between the two. Advancements in Genetics Scientists are exploring new frontiers in genetics. One of the most promising fields is gene therapy. Gene therapy was conceptualized in the 1980s, but the process of inserting viruses into patient systems was considered too dangerous. Stem cells have also emerged as a promising application of advanced genetics. Through manipulation of stem cells DNA, scientists can modify genes in animals, creating organisms from scratch. For instance, researchers genetically modified a mouse that glows under blue light by inserting a jellyfish gene. While these advancements carry risks, they also have the potential to revolutionize healthcare. Through gene therapy, scientists hope to alleviate symptoms of diseases and prevent illness. Stem cells may someday be used for organ regeneration or to grow new parts of the body. As scientific research continues, the possibilities for improved human life through advancements in genetics are endless. The Ethical Dilemma of Genetic Advancements Genetics has the power to alter humanity's course, and as sequencing techniques continue to improve, it will become possible to diagnose more diseases, including mental illnesses like schizophrenia. However, diagnosing genetic diseases raises ethical concerns that need to be addressed. Many people with mental illness exhibit extraordinary creativity, prompting the question of whether it is ethical to consider aborting fetuses that may develop mental illness. This raises concerns about valuing potential human life based on genetic fitness and the misuse of eugenics. Furthermore, scientists are already on their way to producing the first genetically modified humans using stem cells. This could lead to humans being resistant to all known blood diseases, or something even more incredible. As exciting as these advancements are, it is crucial to consider the ethical implications of these genetic advancements.
In The Gene, An Intimate History, Siddhartha Mukherjee masterfully explores the profound implications of genetic research, which has the potential to revolutionize medicine, trace our ancestry, and challenge our understanding of gender identity. As science continues to unravel the mysteries of our genetic code, the importance of addressing ethical issues such as eugenics and how we respond to the prospects of gene diagnosis and therapy, cannot be overstated. The book offers an engaging and thought-provoking look into the past, present, and future of genetics, and raises important questions about humanity's role in shaping its own destiny through genetic manipulation.